Hi there, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's actually the first time I'm doing a, a video in English because I'm usually doing video just in Italian. But this time I think the issue here, uh, it's related to other countries too. So I think it was um, um, a good choice to do this in English. I'm sorry for the Italian guys. Uh, scusate ragazzi se faccio questo video in inglese. Um, what's the matter here? Uh, you see the title, you click on the video and you say, oh, what? MetaQuest Pro is a scam? What, what does it mean? I mean, this is kind of a catchy title, I know. But the thing is, I, I bought this MetaQuest Pro on November and, uh, and I was very excited about it. I uh, was very excited about it. Um, the thing is, after four months, uh, Meta decided to cut the prices. I mean, not just... 50 euros or 100 euros. No, they're cutting like 500 euros. This is a lot. This is kind of, this is 30% or something more. I'm, I'm not good at maths, but I mean, I paid for this uh, 1,799 and now it's going to cost something like 1,299. So this is a scam because I, I bought this four months ago and I wouldn't imagine that Meta would cut the prices like that. I mean, if you're buying like a MacBook, you know that prices can go down like on Amazon or eBay or wherever you're going to get it. But prices would usually go down from the main store, from the official store, when the next uh, visor uh, is going to get out. Not before that. I mean, you know that. It's kind of a law. The other things that could happen that this... This visor here could be a failure. When something is a failure, you cut the price right on because you 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 can't you can't sell it. Like like you're admitting that you can't sell it. So the thing is here the thing here is I try to contact Meta, uh, try to understand what my position was. Like uh, I said, you know, i bought this four months ago. I don't think it's fair that you cut the prices like that. I mean, you can because you, 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 you're meta. You decided how to sell your stuff. But it's not fair from a, a consumer point of view because I bought it like four months ago. I was the first in the line. I, was, I, I, wanted, I wanted to be like a, uh, an early adopter. Uh, I, I wanted to use it first and I paid for it. The answer I got was pretty funny. Because they, they said, okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's gonna give you, we're gonna give you like 90, 95 euros or something like that. 90, 90 euros of uh, credit on MetaQuest store. It, it's not bad, but I lost like 500 euros. I not, you, I not, not just lost 500 euros buying this thing. I, I lost much more than this if I want to sell it on the second market. Like if I if I try to put it on eBay right now, I, I can find this like at 700, 800, 900 euros. It's crazy. After four months, it's crazy because this is a piece of tech. They say this is the state of art of VR. They say that The, the, the sensor we got inside this, the sensor that um, you, you can use to um, transmit your expression to people, like your, your eye moving or your mouth moving, that, that thing, it's so expensive, they can't put it in anything else. So it's so expensive, they cut 500 euros from, the, from this visor. I, I wrote them back. I try again to say my point. My point was, I can't pay for your decision. I mean, you made a bad decision on the price. So um, my thing is, I want to I wanna give you this back. I want to give you this back, get my money back before the price is cut, and then maybe buy it again from the new price. Everyone is happy. I guess that's not what Meta is thinking. Meta is thinking that... The, This is, this is the right thing to do because they, you know, there's inflation and prices can change. Yeah, but you actually, you actually, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really mad. That, that's, that, that's why I'm like, blah, 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 sometimes. I'm really mad because <clears throat> that's exactly the contrary of what they did with the MetaQuest 2. 
they actually raised the price, saying, you know, inflation, and then they put it back down again now on March the 5th, saying nothing, just, you just want to cut the price, and they cut just the 256 gigas uh, model, not the, the standard one, so this is crazy too, because why, why, why are you changing prices for just one model, not the others? I don't know, this is crazy, this is kind of, I don't know. No, I have no no answer about it. Um, so I I said, this is not about inflation. I mean, if it was about inflation, you should actually rise the price again because inflation is skyrocketing right now. We have a skyrocketing or skyrocketing inflation right now. So this is not. I mean, that's what they said. They think I'm wrong because I was the first in the line to buy it, and you know when when you buy first, you pay more. Yeah but not after four months. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about this. Uh, I'm sorry for my English. It's not the best English I know. Um, mo moreover, I'm, I'm kind of crazy about this, so my, my brain is not working properly. But I thought this was kind of a video that I have to do right now because I, I think there's a lot of people in my situation that want to know what to do. First thing I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to you is... Write back to Meta, make your point, say what you want to do, I mean, and say what you want to say. I mean, I said that I, I, I didn't think it was the right thing to do. Uh, you can say it. Maybe you can get like a bonus for the MetaQuest store. I don't know if it's going to give it to you. Uh, but I think you should write to them and, and, and say what you think about this. Because I don't think it's a, it's a, it's a right... I don't think it... I think it's wrong. I think it's wrong because you make me pay for your bad decision and you're not like a, um, a business that's going to fail. Like in, in the 90s, you, you bought a Sega Nomad from Sega and after less than one year, it was a failure. They're like selling for nothing. But that was kind of a closure for that console. They're not going to make another console like a Sega Nomad after that. That's a closure. You're doing many more MetaQuest after this. And that's the thing that makes me crazy. Because this is... It's like you're changing, changing the rules while we're playing. I mean, I'm buying this because you say this is a state-of-the-art of VR. And you're like uh, really uh, distancing. Like really make, make, make it very different from the MetaQuest 2 in prices and in performances. But now you're saying it's not that far away from MetaQuest 2. You can see the price, 99, $9.99. It's not that far away. So it's a different product. So I buy, I bought a different product and now um, I just lost my money. So that's it. Sorry, guys. It was a rent. It was a, you know, I saw many videos like that. I didn't think that um, I'm going to do one, but I did. Sorry. Sorry for my English again. <clears throat> if you enjoyed this video, please... <laughs> I don't know. If you want, you can click like and subscribe or whatever. I, I don't know if I'm going to do any many more uh, video in English. It was an experiment. It was like a crazy moment I have. And um, thank you for watching. This is Giacomo. This is La Sofita the Nerd. That you can translate like uh, the nerd attic or something like that. Um, thank you again. This is Giacomo. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>